What we're after in gravitational harmony is a neutral spine. In a neutral spine, a spine diving straight into gravity, like mine is here, each vertebra, the body of each vertebra, sits on the disc below. So we have body, disc, body, disc, all the way down. The body of each vertebra floats on the disc below it. It can take a lot of pressure, and it requires zero effort to deal with gravity. And the discs don't deform. They can take, I think it's close to a ton of pressure or more before they deform. Whereas when the spine is bent, a slight amount of pressure distorts the shape of the disc and tends to make it herniate or bulge toward the rear, which pinches the nerve root and gets us in trouble. So in a neutral spine, we have buoyancy. The spine can move around like this with local control. The deep little muscles can take the, the vertebra in circles or, or figure eights or all these motions. Here's another circle. Here's circles backwards like this and like this. So from neutral, when we're diving straight into gravity and each vertebra is sitting on a disc, the little deep muscles up and down the spine, from here down in the back, and from here, from a little lower than that, up in the front, hold the curves of the spine. Everything's neutral. The deep little muscles can move the spine around, move each vertebra around. When the spine buckles, when it collapses, and there's a slouch, you go to move, and the wave is dampened. And the deep muscles are overstretched in the back of the spine here and in the front of the spine up here. So to bring the spine into integrity, we're going to stack this back up. We're going to get these spinal curves neutral and draw up like this and then let go. And sure enough, buoyancy, no collapse at all and no effort to stay up.